hereby call to order the March 2nd meeting of the Jacksonville Youth Council. And we will now proceed to the Pledge of Allegiance led by Naya Thompson, followed by the invocation led by Carolyn Marks. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your heads. Lord, thank you for the grace you give us. Please help us to move beyond the hurdles that trip us up and give us the strength and wisdom to look up and continue to move forward. Amen. I want to welcome all of you to this meeting. Um, my name is Adejuan Ochibobo, and I am the chairman of the Jacksonville Youth Council. Oh, I'm Seth Wellinger, vice chairman. I am Brooke Gruber, the secretary. I am Nye Thompson, the reporter. I'm Taylor Rudder, I'm the White Oak High School representative. I'm Carolyn Marks, the Jackson High School seat. I'm Janelle Libby, and I'm the at-large seat. We'll now move on to tonight's program with, um, we have a special speaker, Ms. Jennifer Ormsby. With, she's with the MCCS Family Member Employment Assistance Program, and she will be speaking to us about the teen job and volunteer fair. Fair that will be coming up next month. So let's let's just welcome her. My name is Jenny Ormsby, and as I was introduced, I work with the Family Member Employment Assistance Program. So to make it shorter, we call it FAMEEP. Um, that is with the Marine Corps Community Services on base at Camp Lejeune. So what we do is we provide job search assistance for military dependents of active duty service members or retirees. So we're helping them in their job search prospects, finding jobs, writing a resume, and so what we are doing is we are hosting a teen volunteer and job fair on April 1st. So what we want to do is help connect employers in the community and organizations in the community with youth like yourself. So how many of you would like to have more money in your pocket to spend? Yeah? How many of you think that you need to maybe build up your resume or your application for your college applications? All right. So this is a great opportunity for you guys to do that. So what we want to do is connect you with organizations that might be of interest to you. Um, maybe they're outdoor paddling industry or um, working with animals or working with children with disabilities or for employment efforts. You know, it might be something that you're just working part time um, in the summer or maybe uh, on the weekends while you're in school. And so connecting you with those employers. Okay. So. Luckily, we are partnering with the Jacksonville Youth Council this year in order to host the event. So it's going to be right across the street at the Jacksonville Youth Center. And um, I think that with the council helping us and our collaboration, we'll have even more attendance than we did last year. Last year, we had about 60 people attend, and we've ha had a number of people that were able to get involved in various organizations and also get paying gigs in order to help with that, you know, paying um, for all that fun stuff on the side, right? Um, so what we would like to do is just let you know about the event and see if y'all could um, market it out into your different schools. Um, you know, let them know that what's going on. In addition to the job fair, in order to prepare for it, we're also hosting a um, resume workshop and job fair preparation class. This is going to be on base at the Family Member Employment Office, but if you don't have access to base, we can sponsor you on. So um, there is a flyer with my contact information, so as long as you contact me early enough in advance, I can sponsor you on to the event. And that is going to be the Thursday prior to the teen job fair, so that is 
going to be March 30th, and it'll be 4.30 to 6.30. And really what it is is helping you prepare for how to speak professionally with the employers and the organization representatives, how do you market yourself and sell yourself and your skills and abilities, and then also talking about building a resume. Do any of y'all have a resume built yet? Okay, so a couple of you do? Good. So it's hard um, to organize all that information. I see a lot of adults that have a hard time doing it. And so it's just kind of an introduction to get you to have that document prepared. I don't think that it's something that you have to have in order to attend the job fair because most of the time you're going to do, be doing applications anyways. But um, it's something that might benefit you in the future. So we're going to go ahead and introduce that at the, at the preparation workshop. We will have at the Teen Job Fair some um, computers that you can actually do applications online because some of the employers need you to do those applications. Even if they meet you and they like you, they'll probably send you to their website to do the applications. So we'll have those hopefully at the site as well. So besides um, asking you guys to um, promote this event for us, I, what I'd like to do is see if you guys are interested in attending the event yourselves. Um, there are flyers that are out here that you can pick up and take and provide to your peers about how to apply or to register for the event. You don't have to have a registration before you attend the event. Maybe you decide the day of and that's fine. Um, but it do, does help us prepare as far as the numbers go. Um, so you can go to the MCCS Lejeune website in order to register for the event. But if you know of any organizations that are looking for volunteers or maybe some employers that are looking to hire, I am all ears. We have about a quarter of the um, commitments that we want from that, and we are marketing and requesting people daily to participate. And so we're getting quite a few um, that are interested, but if you all know of anyone, we're all ears as well. Okay. So do you have any questions for me about the event? or about what I do and what we can do to provide support for you guys. All right. That's how all would I do. You, how would you suggest they dress for that day? Oh. So um, it's not anything where you have to have a suit and tie or um, you know, a professional suit. But what I would recommend that you do as far as the dress goes is khakis and a collared shirt or um, you know, something that you would wear. What I always recommend to the job applicants when I'm support, providing support for them is a, a step up above where you would dress when you're on the job. Does that make sense? So you don't have to wear like a fancy dress or anything like that. Um, something pretty conservative in nature. Uh, you don't have to show your personality necessarily um, while you're interviewing for a job or you're attending a job fair. Um, but don't come in your soccer uniform if you came straight from a soccer game. Take the time to kind of change, maybe wipe off some sweat and that kind of thing. <laughs> I understand that you have a lot of commitments, but you want to also show the employers that you're taking it seriously as well. Yes, sir? Um, the job fair? That's up to the employer and what their needs are. So um, the event is focused for 13 to 18 year olds. So teens, um, obviously the 13 to 15 year olds aren't able to work. So that's why we're looking at the volunteer opportunities. 16 to 18 year olds can work, but there are some limitations as far as that goes. Um, and so that would have to be based upon what the employer needs and also what you're capable of doing as far as like how late you can stay out, that kind of thing. But it, it might be, we, a lot of times they're going to want you to participate on the weekends, especially during the school year. If you can't, um, if you can't work during the week, they'll have you work on the weekends. But a lot of times the employers will work around your schedule too. If you show good work ethic and you maybe in the summertime when you have a lot more availability, show that, that work. And just to add to what uh, Jennifer has said, I want to stress too that it's also a, a volunteer fair for teens. And so there will be organizations there looking for volunteers, possibly internships, 
and um, things that help you build your resume. If you're looking to get the SAT scholarship, there'll be organizations there that you can get those SAT hours with. Um, and so there's a wider variety of things that are available at this workshop, thanks to um, MCCS, and would highly encourage you to attend. So. Any other questions? Well, thank you so much for having me. And again, I appreciate the Youth Council supporting us <coughs> because I think that it's really going to expand our teen job fair this year. Thank you for coming out and speaking to us today, Ms. Jennifer. Thank you. Um, now we'll move on to new business with Janelle Libby. The 2017 JYC Spring Break Teen Day of Service will be held on April 12th at 8.30 at the Stur Sturgeon City in downtown Jacksonville. We will hold a Wilson Bay canoe cleanup, which will consist of going out on the bay on canoes and removing trash from out of the bay. All Onslow, Onslow County High School students are welcome to attend. You can sign up tonight with me or go to our website to register for the event. Now on to Seth Rootlinger with Harmony. Harmony Youth Philanthropy Program will hold our annual community celebration March 23rd, 6 p.m. at the Youth Center. We, we are awarding five local youth-led projects, grants. All JYC members are invited. And for next year, we are looking to have more members of Harmony. If you're interested, you can talk to Ms. Carmela. We're now moved to the, I guess the more in-depth description of the Teen Job Fair with um, Nia Thompson. Um, at the Teen Job Fair, we are looking for volunteers to help out and kind of make sure everything's going right. If people need help, you can assist them. And after the meeting, you can come with me and it will be again on Saturday, April 1st, 2017 from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And if you'd like to help us out, we will all be attending and just meet me after the meeting to sign up. All right, so the floor is now open to any public comments from the board or the audience. And this can be anything about um, school, anything special happening, like, uh, I don't know, anything, that happen anything that's happening in your life, we are a pretty laid back group. So the floor is open. I would like to say that Northside High School will be ho hosting the musical Mary Poppins uh, April 28th, 29th, and 30th. So come out and see the show. It will be a fun one, and I will be playing Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. If there is no other public comments, it's a short meeting, so um, this meeting is now adjourned.